Hi, this is Millie Kay, and it's Thursday, June 8, 2017. And this video is about the Kelly Ridge Powerhouse near the Oroville Dam. And this is a photo of it. This is a Department of Water Resources photo that was taken in February of this year. And that's why the water is so dirty uh, in the diversion pool by the powerhouse. This powerhouse sits on the edge of the Thermolito Diversion Pool just below the dam. So at this time, on January, uh, February 27th, they were dredging the diversion pool to get the debris out after the spillway incident. So this Kelly Ridge Powerhouse is not owned by the Department of Water Resources. It's licensed to the South Feather Water and Power Agency. And just so that we can get oriented here um, for this video, I want to show you this Google map. This is the Oroville Reservoir, and the Oroville Dam is here. It would actually be this gray area here would be the dam. And then the Thermolito Diversion Pool is right here. And that Kelly Ridge Powerhouse sits right at the edge of this Thermolito Diversion Pool. And then another thing that's going to be important in this video is the right down here, this is the Miner's Ranch Reservoir. And the Miner's Ranch Reservoir is, is the uh, supplier of water for the Kelly Ridge Powerhouse. So it go, the water goes all the way from from here through Oroville, through the Kelly Ridge, all the way to the powerhouse. And this is a satellite view of the same map. Here's the the Miner's Ranch Reservoir, and over here is the dam and the Thermolito diversion pool with the powerhouse right around in here. And to show you how the water gets from the Miner's Ranch to the Kelly Ridge powerhouse, I made my own graphic because I couldn't find anything that said what I wanted it to, to say. So if you look at this graph as or graphic as this is the Miner's Ranch Reservoir and the water goes from the reservoir into the Kelly Ridge Tunnel. It can carry 200 up to 260 cubic feet per second of water through this Kelly Ridge Tunnel. And the Kelly Ridge Tunnel is 1.3 miles long. It's a 9 foot by 8 foot diameter pressurized tunnel and it's, um, as I said, it can take up to 260 cubic feet per second of water from Miner's Ranch Reservoir to the Kelly Ridge Penstock. And the Kelly Ridge Penstock, is represented here in gray, is an exposed steel penstock. It's 1.1 mile long. And it's a 69 inch reducing to 57 inch inside diameter pipe. So a penstock is basically uh, some form of pipe or tube that takes water to a turbine. So this water goes from Miner's Ranch Reservoir to Kelly Ridge Powerhouse. And this is the Kelly Ridge Powerhouse right here in this Google satellite view. The uh, I'll show you this broad overview so you can see it in relation to the Oroville Dam. The Oroville Dam is over here, and here are the is the uh, switch yard, or maybe a substation. Uh, in any event, it's the all of the transmission lines that have to do with the production of hydroelectric power by the Hyatt Power Plant, which is under the dam. And this is the Thermolito Diversion Pool. And you can see going up from the 
uh, powerhouse, the Kelly Ridge powerhouse. You go up all the way, you can see the pinstock is coming down the mountain. And I'll show you from the trees. <laughs> If we go up the mountain between Miner's Ranch Reservoir and the Kelly Ridge Powerhouse, you can see that pin stuck coming through the trees and down the mountain. And I'll follow it. And, and as you can see, it just keeps going. And then it crosses the Palermo Canal right here. This is the Palermo Canal. And this is the pin stock. And then the pin stock goes under Oroville Dam Boulevard and then continues on its way to um, the Kelly Ridge Powerhouse. And while I'm on this view, I'd like to show you the Palermo Canal. The Palermo Canal comes along and then right here is where where we're at in that previous view and the Palermo Canal goes past there and it winds around a lot it goes a long ways down and I'm going to talk about the Palermo Canal probably in my next video which I should be publishing very soon hopefully today or tomorrow and I'd like to read you something by the California State Water Project about uh, the Palermo Canal and the Pinstock. During construction of Oroville Dam, water for Palermo Canal was obtained from Oroville Wyandotte Irrigation District's Kelly Ridge Pinstock. And the Oroville uh, Wyandotte Irrigation District is has been renamed to South Feather Water and Power Agency ever since 2003, and the Oroville Wyandotte Irrigation District was, it dates way back, uh, because in the beginning of all this water systems, there were uh, just ditches to get water to miners' claims, and, and then as the systems have evolved, we have uh, what there is today with the South Feather Water and Power Agency operating the uh, Miner's Ranch Reservoir and the Kelly Ridge Powerhouse. So, uh, getting back to this, there's basically there's a buried uh, turnout pipe n near this area that we're looking at, and there's there's a, a a pipe with a valve that they can open up and discharge water right out of the pin stock into the Palermo Canal. So in the future, if there arises some emergency situation where water becomes unavailable from Lake Oroville in the required quantity, the needed water can again be supplied by Kelly Ridge pin stock. And apparently the Palermo Canal needs about 40 cubic feet per second to uh, keep keep itself alive and I'm going to conclude this video with a photo again Department of Water Resources photo of the Kelly Ridge powerhouse and I'll tell you just a little bit about the powerhouse itself it's a reinforced concrete above ground powerhouse that releases water into the Thermalito diversion pool downstream of Oroville Dam it has one turbine that's directly connected to a generator. And then it has a, a switch yard right next to it. And the switch yard has one transformer. And the power that's generated at this powerhouse is delivered to the grid using uh, Pacific Gas and Electric's transmission line. That's PG&E transmission line. And there is one note to make that in 2012 there was an agreement that was made between or among South Feather Water and Power and the Department of Water Resources and the state water contractors uh, 
they wanted uh, this powerhouse to stop releasing water into the Thermolito diversion pool because it was believed that it was messing up the water temperatures that the Department of Water Resources needs to maintain uh, for its commitment to uh, preserving the fish habitat in the Feather River. And I don't know if they're still under that agreement or not. So I don't know if it discharges into the diversion pool or the, the way the agreement was set up is that instead of discharging the water into the diversion pool, they would uh, put an equivalent amount of water back into Lake Oroville. So I really don't know where that stands. And as I look at this picture, I see that it looks like the pinstock comes in up here and that would make sense. So I'm going to conclude this video and I really appreciate your view and I'd like to ask you to like, subscribe and share. And if you click on the little bell by the subscribe button, you can be notified whenever I publish and upload a new video. So again, thanks for viewing and I'll see you later.